Hey guys, Travis here with Dutter's Dirt Bike. So I got a good example of some technical terrain that I've seen a lot of people struggle with. So I thought, do a short how-to video on it. Uh, the best way to tackle this terrain. Now you're gonna get different pins from other riders, uh, but for guys in our normal level of riding, or even you know higher level of riding, these are really good fundamentals to practice. They always say to always be standing, but that's not always the case. You lose your balance, you lose your grip, you end up having to sit down. But I notice a lot of guys will struggle with uneven stepped uh, terrain. So right here, make sure you get in the shot. So right here, you wanna stay sitting, keep your front high and put your weight back. A lot of guys are too scared to put their weight back on a step. But if you have your weight too far forward, you're not gonna get any traction. Especially when it's uneven like this. You don't wanna just carry momentum and hit it because now your front wheel is gonna kick you around. It's gonna disrupt you. The better you can keep the core of your body centered and balanced, the easier you can take disruptions in the bike. So you come up to here, keep your RPMs high. Don't use your throttle to control how much power you want to put down. You need to keep your RPMs high, especially if you're on a four stroke like us. And then you use your clutch to control your power delivery. So right out here, let out the clutch more, never let off of it. Let that rear wheel hit and keep it down to get enough traction, especially when you get the sandy granite. Traction is going to be very uneven. And you want to hop up it. So in a sense, you're almost seat bouncing it like a jump and that will keep your front wheel from getting disrupted inside of here okay now we made it up there this is where you want to practice one of those pivot turns that you might have seen me do in my other videos you put a uh, foot here keep your direction right here hop that bike over here same thing Stay sitting, stay back, keep your traction back. You can see right here, guys have already been burning out. At least that's what it looks like to me. Because what they probably did is they unload the back of their bike and they start walking. When you walk a bike while trying to give it gas, all you're doing is blowing out the trail and you're not putting traction down. You virtually never want to do the walkie throttle, it doesn't get you anywhere. Sit back, get traction down. Even if you feel your front wheel raise too high, that's okay. Pull the clutch in a little bit. Don't let off the gas. Always keep gas on. Because when guys let off gas, they stall the bike, especially on a four stroke. So you let in clutch to bring it back down. All right, so now we make it up to here. Make it up to here. Now right here, it's very easy, again, for your front tire to do one of these. It'll, it'll kick. And if you're not center in your core, that's gonna throw the bike. Either you're gonna, you're gonna flop, you're gonna dump, you're gonna stall, you're gonna do something. So same thing, when you see a angled obstacle, lean back, get that front wheel up. Maybe not off the ground, but at least unloaded to where it's not gonna disrupt you. Because your rear tire, it's very hard to disrupt it. To where if you disrupt a rear tire, it's easier to recover than when your front does one of these. Same thing. Bounce. Up. Now we're up here. I'm gonna keep going. So there's some of my tips of ways that could really help you conquer some harder obstacles, especially when you're dealing with decomposed granite to granite. Use good clutch control. Keep your RPMs up. You can do all these hard enduro stuff with a four stroke. Keep your RPMs up, control your power with your clutch, and sit back, put your weight back. I don't know why people say load the foot pegs, because when you load the foot pegs, you're putting weight in your front and your rear. On slick terrain, especially like let's say it was wet or snotty out, you want your traction back. You want to get up there. So, hopefully that helped you guys out. <laughs>